One of the, the strengths that I found with HackerOne that I haven't found with other platforms is the communication between yourself, the company, and independent researchers. Bouncing ideas back and forth, coming up with the best strategy on how to solve a problem. Uh, we do use HackerOne as a platform, and that's one of the ways that we solved the consistency problem, was that by using the platform that a lot of other companies use, it made it much easier for the researcher to focus on giving us a good report and giving us the details that we need. It's nice to just have, have a very simple system where both the, the researcher and, and the vendor can have a very common communication stream that both sides understand. From a larger organizational standpoint, um, getting, you know, having, having like email templates and, and kind of the responses for for different types of uh, incidents, you can automate some of that through the HackerOne portal. Um, and so getting that kind of as a workflow management tool, if you didn't have something like HackerOne, you'd have to, you'd have to build it yourself. You have reputations that you can look at. You have previous history of independent researchers. Um, you can choose who you want to actually work on your platform. The reputation system, I think, has helped encourage people to write better reports. The ability to, to see the history of that researcher, I mean, just outside the bug, has been useful because it gives us context. HackerOne's been great at not only um, leveraging the research community, but also communicating back to that community and coming up with the best ways to solve problems. We've paid many bounties and it's been incredibly valuable. We've definitely made Yelp more secure, uh, the app and the website, uh, far more secure.